explore the film. So when I saw the play, it was not so much about themes. It, I was just touched by the character. I, I was interested in immigrants, and, and every time I had an idea, I thought it was too didactic. But by listening to this guy, it was a solo play on stage. I, I was touched by his mixture of uh, humanity and, 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 and fragility, and I thought, what a great way to talk about immigration is not talking about immigration, you know? And, 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 and I thought the play was about something else, about grieving and about uh, the fundamental act of teaching. So when I adapted it, uh, I went to do some research in the school, and, and I, you know, I sat in classrooms and just observing how kids were, and I thought, this is an incubator of, of young human beings. This is a laboratory of life. And I realized that in this story, I could tackle many issues without making the film too uh, overloaded with, with thematics, because that's how it is in the classroom uh, normally. Other thing that interests me in this, this character is that uh, when you're dealing with an immigrant, you're dealing with a point of view on your own society. It's a way to look at who we are, but through the eyes of someone else that has some a bit different background, a different culture. So it was really the immigration thing that you used that sort of spoke to you from the play. From the start. That you wanted to explore. Yeah, I, I, I knew that I wanted a character, an immigrant character, but I knew that I didn't want to make immigration the main focus of the film. And when you look at the film when it's finished, you look at it and you say, oh, it's, it's talking about that. And for some people, it would say it's talking about grieving. Other right. people would say it's talking about uh, suicide. Other people would say it's about the, 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 the fucked up education system. Education system yeah. um, so I think it's about all of that. But for me, it's about the power of words and communication uh, through the fundamental act of, of, of uh, uh, power of words and communication while dealing with a drama and how it can be uh, healing just to, just to communicate. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you about uh, Lazar and, and, and his sort of his strength and, and what he sort of sets out to accomplish within the course of the film. Um, Lazar has this, this personal drama in his life and, and he doesn't want to talk about it. And he tells the truth to the immigration officer because he has no choice. But he lies at school. He lies about who he was. Uh, and, and, and he doesn't say that he had a family, that he lost it. Uh, and I think he does it because he instinctively knows that he needs to be surrounded by children to cope with the loss of his family. But also, he knows that he can help them, uh, that he went through the loss of his family, so he knows what the children are going through. And you have two grieving mirroring each other. He's going to be able to help them, and they are going to help able to help him without even actually knowing it because he's so, uh, he, does, he keeps everything to himself as an immigrant often does, not to be a burden on its new society and because they have to cut from their past if they want to, you know, move along in the future, especially when such a drama happened in, in their lives. Yeah. Tell me about directing children, because you have many kids in this film. Yeah. As a director, easy, difficult, what, what was... Well, you know, is, there's a saying that you don't want to direct animals or children, and I think that's very, very unfair to animals. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, but no, seriously, I think it's a privilege with, to work with children. They're luminous, they work hard, uh, they eat way less than technicians. Uh, so, he, you know, you're winning all around. And uh, the, the, the secret is just to take time in the audition process, not to have them in front of the camera do their lines and, and buy. You have to meet them. You have to know who they are. You have to try to figure out if their parents want them to be there for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and then it's rehearsing with them. And I work with a coach. She's there with me when I rehearse with the kids, so she knows where I want to take the kids. So when I'm off to other tasks, she can continue working with working the kids. And thirdly, it's in, try to install um, a playful atmosphere on set. So it will feel like, they know it's work, but it will feel like it's summer camp, and I'm the monitor and we're having fun. But when it's time to do a dramatic scene, they, they trust me, and so they can dig inside of them to get that, you know, moment of truth. Do you have to be more mindful of shooting schedule and time? Because I would imagine you're losing them to school and... Yeah, but we shot in the summer. Even though the story takes place in the winter, we shot in the summer. And, like, it was 95 degrees outside when we started the shoot, and they were wearing oh, coats, wow. and it was really tough on them. So we do have to shoot. We can't shoot, like, 14 hours with kids. But still, I, was, I managed to do everything I wanted because they were so good. I, you know, I thought I would do like 
10 to 12 takes every time. And that's why I wanted to shoot in, in, in digital, so I could shoot and shoot and shoot. But to my surprise, they were good after three or four takes. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, and then finally, I just want to ask you about um, working with Philag. Am I saying that yeah. correct? Philag, Philag. Yeah, Philag, yeah. And, uh, uh, w you know, finding him, casting him in this role, and then working with him in the, in the film. I knew I probably wouldn't find an Algerian actor in Montreal, so I, I, I went to France, and the playwright who, who wrote the play I adapted told me, I, I saw this guy in in Belgium a few years back and you should check him out and he also knows my play because he had done a reading a public reading of the play so I check him out on YouTube and he's doing these monologues he's like a stand-up comic and and he's doing these monologues they're very burlesque and I said well this is very far from what I want but I like his head I like what he looks like and I imagine him in on, on the big screen and I said "Ooh, I would like so I meet him I do an audition with him still not sure but he, he, he calls me back and he says you know Philip I know you're not totally convinced but I can be you know the pace that you can work with and and I will do what you want and and he's he's someone who lived something similar to the character because he had to flee Algeria because of the civil war and he was targeted uh, by 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 some people so so he knew intimately what uh, the character went through and I think it helped him yeah it was a great performance thank you so much thank you great so you. much yeah great All talking right. to you yeah thank you cool